I have come here to chew bubblegum and review toys. And I'm all out of bubblegum. Hey, Phantomaniacs, welcome to the newest Needless Unboxing here on the Needless Things YouTube channel. As you can see, today we are taking a look at NECA's They Live range, uh, starring Rowdy Roddy Piper and some ugly, ugly aliens. Uh, we're going to start with the aliens because, of course, Piper is your main event. We'll put him aside. Uh, I bought these aliens a long time ago, but I didn't buy them as soon as they came out because I had no assurances at the time that we were going to get a Roddy Piper figure. So as much as I love They Live, I love John Carpenter. He's my favorite director. Uh, I do... Who needs just the aliens? Yes, toyetic as heck. Horrifying, creepy... Uh, great from a great movie, but if we weren't going to get a Piper figure, I just didn't want to spend the money on the aliens. Uh, and then it was announced we are getting a Piper figure, so I jumped on Amazon, uh, got them for still retail price, possibly a little bit below. I can't remember now, uh, but I know I didn't pay more than retail, and got the aliens that would be needed to accompany the Piper figure that just came out this week. Uh, so. You can see on the back of the box, the black and white, uh, simulating the look of the sunglasses. If, if you haven't seen They Live, you need to see it. But the premise is there are these aliens. Uh, it's, it's kind of a conspiracy type thing that aliens are running the world and they use holograms to hide their true nature and all the advertising and everything uh, underneath the cover of a magazine. It just says obey. So subliminally, they're manipulating the population. Pretty far-fetched, right? Ha, 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 ha. So anyway, uh, and our hero, Rowdy Roddy Piper, or uh, John Nada, I think John Nada, just Nada, uh, discovers that there is an underground resistance and that they have these sunglasses, these Ray-Ban-style sunglasses that allow you to see through the alien's... Uh, technology to what really lies beneath and then that's the crux of the movie and so there you go that's it now that i've given you the worst synopsis of they live ever let's open these guys up or actually let's finish taking a look at the packaging these are neca's uh retro cloth figures that are kind of mego inspired uh but much 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 nicer than migos you look on the back you can see uh some graffiti that was on a wall in the movie they live we sleep you know, I probably could have just read this to you guys. They influence our decisions without us knowing it. They numb our senses without us feeling it. They control our lives without us realizing it. They live. A rugged loner stumbles upon a terrifying discovery. Ghoulish creatures are masquerading as humans while they lull the public into submission through subliminal advertising messages. Only specially made sunglasses make the deadly truth visible. So yeah, I should have just read that. Uh, but anyway, you get some cool product shots. Uh, and we're just going to open this up now with our trusty 1964 box cutter. Actually, real quick, uh, I always want to call out the credits on the bottom of the box. I love that NECA does this. I think it's very important. Slice right through that so uh, circular piece of adhesive. And let's get these creatures. Interesting that they're referred to as creatures and not aliens. Uh, this is going to be a keeper, this background here. Uh, because I'm gonna, I'm gonna definitely put this on the shelf, probably with all three figures on it. That's great. I love that. All right, we have a couple of pieces. Oh, this. So this would be <laughs> the newspaper. Very nice. And then this would be a magazine. So this would, to the naked eye, this would be a normal... Uh, just messed that up, pulling it out of there. It's all right. Uh, to the naked eye, this would be just a normal like Time magazine or whatever. But then with the sunglasses on, you would see Obey, Watch TV, No Imagination. Stay asleep. Love it. 
love these details. And then here we have this TV that NECA seems to have gotten a lot of mileage out of. And I, that's fine by me. It's great. Uh, this was, I believe, originally... I'm trying to find the tape here. There we go. Uh, originally, I think this was the Freddy Krueger TV. Uh, the one that his head comes out of. And then they used it for the Halloween 3 Trick or Treaters set. That you can see a review of here on the Needless Things YouTube channel. Uh, and now it is a They Live TV, just because. That's fun. You've got a little peg on the back seat, or a little uh, hole on the back, so you can hang it on the wall if you want to. On the front, the sticker on mine is a little crooked. Not super, but at the same time, it's an old school TV. Uh, maybe it's got a little problem with the tube. Maybe the picture's a little crooked. It's fine. <laughs> I like the sleep on the front. That's great. Looks really nice. Uh, I think... The decision to go with the silver instead of like a wood grain, which would have been more era appropriate. Well, I don't know. Maybe it wouldn't have. Uh, this actually looks pretty close. Like this was a, a new fangled fancy pants TV uh, back in 88. So, yeah, that's pretty good. It might have had buttons here instead of knobs, but whatever. It doesn't matter. It's cool. It's not a specific thing from the movie. It's just something that NECA threw in because it was neat. Uh, all right. So you can see we've got some twist ties to deal with here. Or not even the twist ties. These stupid new tab things that everybody's using now. So I'm going to take my trusty Dollar Tree fingernail clippers and snip right through these. Because it's generally easier to get a good grip on them and not mess up the toy. Uh, it's easier to use these fingernail clippers than it is to use scissors. Uh, although that may not be the case here. There we go. And finally, let's release our lady alien creature. Interesting that uh, the creatures have the same gender designations as humans of the era. Or do they? We don't know. Oh, no, wait. Yeah, we do. Because we. I think we, <laughs> you actually do get a topless shot of one of the lady creatures in the movie. All right. The one thing I don't like about the those tab things is they do tend to leave marks on the soft goods. But that'll go away over time. Not a big deal. So these figures are articulated pretty basically. These are not super articulated figures. I love the string of pearls here. Such a nice touch. Look at that gruesome face. Lady, you are ugly. Big hoop earrings. Big 80s hair. Uh, the weird 80s, like, poofy shoulder uh, sweatpant material dress. Very, very accurate. Very appropriate. Uh, looks good. Just a great figure. I mean, this is not, you know, it's not like this is a specific character that you're like, awesome, I've got this exact alien lady. Um, but, it, I mean, it is. It's it's a character from the movie, but it's not like she's really particularly significant. It's more, okay, cool, I've got this hideous creature from John Carpenter's They Live. She has her little watch here where she can communicate with the creature underground and also teleport. Okay, we don't seem... Yeah, we got a little swivel there. There we go. So, got that action there. And then her hands, uh, also gruesomely detailed. Very nice. Looks good. This is, again, this is not like a dynamic uh, figure that you're going to do a whole lot with. It's going to stand on the shelf and look creepy. Uh, and then this fella here, looking... Looking like a stereotypical 80s businessman, only hideous. Uh, got a nice suit. They've done a pretty good job with the tie and the collar here. This is somewhere that, uh, something that NECA has seen some challenges with in this line, is, is making things like ties and collars actually look good. I think they've done a nice job of it here. Uh, again, hideous face, the sculpting, the paint, everything. Uh, just absolutely perfect. I want to try and straighten his suit up a little bit before I put him on the shelf, but he looks good. He's great. And again, you know, not, oh, hey, it's Ted the alien. It's just, oh, he's going to be standing beside Piper 
in my little they live uh section of the shelf very nice uh the soft goods here you know this is not 112 collective quality but it's also not 112 collective pricing so i think they've done a great job uh it, it's you know between migo and 112 it's awesome it's a they live figure i love it all right now it is time for your main event rowdy roddy piper the hero of the movie. Uh, I'm not going to reread this because it's all the same thing. You can see down here includes interchangeable head, ammo belt, shotgun, and pistol. Piper in some action poses. I love this one with the flag behind him. Really nice. And again, the credits. We're going to go ahead and slice right through that circular adhesive tab. So we can get this guy out of here. I have been... Uh, it, it's almost a shame that this figure took this long to come because this was one of my most anticipated action figures of 2020, and then it ended up not coming out in 2020. But that's okay because now it's here, and I can enjoy it. So let's take... Uh, I've got all his weapons here. Everything you need for some good old-fashioned alien ass-kicking. Extra head minus the sunglasses. The one thing I wonder about, though is you'd think the sunglasses would need to be an accessory, like separate. I don't mind that they're molded onto the bonus head because it's really hard to get separately molded sunglasses to look right uh, on an action figure. So I would really prefer it if the other the, there's an alternate head with them just molded on. That That is a better way to do things, in my opinion. But I would like to have just the sunglasses by themselves. And hopefully, we've got one more figure coming from this collection. And hopefully, he'll include those. Uh, so this is great. The plaid of the shirt is recreated really nicely here. Uh, he's got his ammo belt. Just goes around to the back. Pretty simple design. Nothing fancy there. Doesn't need to be. Um, it's got a little belt with a buckle there looks pretty good scale wise uh again between this is in between migo and 112 collective uh sunglasses look great nice and glossy got a good likeness going on there but in order to really see if this looks like hot rod obviously we've got to try this other head out now i'm gonna gently pull because i don't want a recreation of what happened all right, that is not coming off. So <laughs> I'm going to heat that up later on, and we're going to take a we're going to switch these heads out. But for right now, we'll take a look at that absolutely fantastic likeness of Rowdy Roddy Piper. Uh, he's got the more than a mullet, but definitely has its roots in mulletude. Just looks phenomenal. Such a great sculpt, amazing paint job, uh, just really top notch for this style of action figure. And you see, he's got a little. This is one of those things that shows up on the camera, but to the naked eye, the little mark on the nose right there looks terrible in this video. But holding it out in front of my face, I can't even see it. So whatever. Uh, we've got a shotgun. Looks good. Perfectly scaled. Lots of detail. Lots of paint. And then a pistol. Same deal there. Exactly what you need it to be. So let's see how well the figure interacts with them. Ooh, I don't like this. Uh, the hands are very stiff plastic. I'm not sure if I'm super into trying to get that pistol into his hand right now. Uh, something that I've noticed about NECA's stuff lately is the plastic has changed... Uh, where there was a softer plastic for the hands before so that they could interact with the accessories really well. And now this is a really, really stiff plastic here. Uh, I'm going to have to heat this up before I try and put either of these weapons in that hand because it is really stiff, uh, and I don't want to break this guy like I did with the Holiday Fiend action figure, which you can see uh, live on the Needless Things YouTube channel. I break a figure's head right off. Uh, but that's not going to happen today. The, if you're a fan of John Carpenter, if you're a fan of They Live, you have to have these figures. They belong on your shelf. They look fantastic. Uh, you guys need to pick these up. 
Thanks for watching. Please like, subscribe, share, and uh, if you've got any thoughts, leave them in the comments below. I love talking to you guys. Thanks for watching, and uh, stay tuned for more tour reviews here on the Needless Things YouTube channel.